Uh, it's a happy, up, upbeat kind of music. And when people are sort of pessimistic as you know, much of the world is today, they look for something that's going to bring them optimism. And the 70s music was that kind of music, you know, and so they become nostalgic about it. It's changed with the times, you know. When, when, when the general mood of the people is sad, then it kind of gets sad, and then it, you know, we sort of rebel against that. We don't like to stay sad very long, so we, we have our little pity party for a minute, and then we just break out and go to a real party. And we start to do music like, like, like the 70s music or rhythm and blues at another time something that's going to be uplifting and encouraging. Yes, we were inspired in the 60s and the 70s by Motown, groups like The Temptations, uh, Smokey Robinson and the Miracles on the jazz side, John Coltrane, uh, Miles Davis, Freddie Hubbard, and um, those groups during that time has became a part of what our music evolved over the years, the evolution of Cool and the Gang's music from the 60s to the 70s. And then when JT joined us in the 70s into the 80s, we became more of a, a popular group for popular songs like Cherish and Get Down On It and Joanna. Because in the past, we didn't have a, a, a vocal or a lead singer to interpret what we were trying to say musically. So we did it with our horns. But now that we came full circle, and what I mean by full circle, because we are back together again. That's what this is all about. JT is back in the group. This is our first actual tour in Europe since he's been back. And this is the opening day, uh, and we're looking very forward to the rest of the tour. I think it's gonna be great.